Hey guys, it's your best fight friends, Kelsey and Rachel. Uh, that was weird, right? Name. Hmm. Who are we? What are we doing here? We're excited for another UFC event. Yeah, and I'm like I'm, after not having sports for so long. Yeah. For fans of combat sports. We back, baby. Nice. Other people are still sad, but not us. We're not <laughs> sad. Or is this men? And if you only watch boxing, you're still like. Yeah, I know. You know, like come yeah. on over. It's the water's <laughs> fine. I can't wait to see Anthony Smith. Yes. I cannot wait to see, because this guy needs to get back in a fight, I think. In a fight that's <laughs> not at his house. Yeah. Right? So you wrote a piece not too long ago about Anthony Smith, who just happened to have to deal with a home invasion. Yeah, and it and was like... And I have like, to say, like, when you first, like, like, wrote about it and told me about it, I was like, oh, okay. I was, like, a little confused, because usually what it, what I would think would happen is somebody's coming to your house to rob you, and if you're like, hey, I'm home... That person's going to try to get away. That wasn't the case with this person. No. So, like, they had to actually do something. Him and his whole family, right? I don't know. I probably would have just exited. I would have vacated my house. But it seems like this guy might have chased me. That's the thing. Well, like, what's I, funny, I think scary, when I the first you know? time I saw the story, when he went in there, uh, he went around, and the guy was in the computer room or whatever, and then the guy just... Anthony said that the guy screamed at him. Yeah. As if he was, you know what I mean? Like, the guy screamed at Anthony to scare Anthony. Yeah. Which is weird, because that's Anthony's house. It totally, <laughs> like, sounded weird for me. And then what came out later is somebody, because people have cameras in, their, in the neighborhood, and there was a camera, right, on the front door. Of that, somebody else's front door that the guy also tried to go Yeah, because it was house. multiple. He was in that vehicles. video was nuts. I actually just saw... I mean, that's how I feel inside sometimes, too, but... I don't even... Get out! Get out now! I mean... Like, that's nuts. That's... That's nuts. That's <laughs> terrifying, and that isn't somebody that's gonna, like, leave, right? Like, mm -hmm. that is like, He's oh guy... my gosh. So I'm like, did he scream at Anthony like that? What do right. you call it? Like, that shit's crazy! So I really, like... It's it's admirable um, because he has his whole family there. He says his mother-in-law at one point hands him a knife to try to subdue this guy. So, like, not his wife. I think he has kids, right? Yeah, like, his dry. wife, kids, his mother-in-law's there. Like, people who are more vulnerable, right? Yeah. Like, if somebody comes into our house, I'm more vulnerable than you are. And so Anthony Smith really stepped up. When he protect, was like, he talked like, about like, the that people he thinks in the house. guy might have a weapon, so his goal is right. to hurt this guy enough before he gets shot so that he can't hurt his family. And that's, that's awesome. That's a, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And then what the crazy, fascinating thing is, here's Anthony Smith, Anthony Linehart Smith, who's certified <laughs> badass for sure, goes in there, and this guy just like, like, this guy can somehow take everything. Like, Anthony he has, Smith like, the strength of out. Hercules, right? And then, Anthony, and, then, and keep in mind, this guy's Anthony Smith has trained his whole life. Has all these, like, special, like, moves and, like, ideas. <laughs> right, does this yeah. shit all the time. And this guy's giving him all he can handle. And I can't imagine, like, what must be going through this, this very excellent UFC fighter's head. That admirable, when he's interviewed about it, Anthony about Smith it. is very honest. That's awesome. He's like, I gave this guy all. I he didn't yeah. make up some yeah. story of he like, didn't. you know, like I like I uh -oh. overpowered this guy, and uh -oh. yeah, like it was tough. He was but, honest, like, but he was like, honest. I gave this guy everything I had, and it was tough. I was, it was the toughest fight of my life, is what he said. That's crazy. And that's crazy. And then so after like they had get this video, and then the other news that comes out is that this guy, who in the video looks rather young to me, he doesn't look very old, but that in high school, so I'm guessing it's, yeah. it's probably not he's that like, long ago, he has like he's excellent... He's like got some pretty solid wrestling credentials. Right, so, so maybe he's like... It's not like this guy didn't have anything If Anthony Smith went into grapple, <laughs> like this guy like knew what to do, right? Like, or had like, he wasn't out of his element necessarily... That is terrifying. And the other like bit of news is that when police got there, there was blood everywhere. And I'm like, what the? So the, it's like they I weren't mean, just. I was, I've seen guys get into fights, right? Yeah, There's a lot wasn't... of like, <laughs> like holding, and it's just it's usually funnier than what it is when you see it in the movies, right? <laughs> like, uh, but like this, like there was blood everywhere. His mother-in-law handed him a knife. 
Like, this is absolutely terrifying. Yeah. So I can't wait Andy Smith to get back in his sport. Like, he, he fights in this sport UFC that he's very, very good at. Um, he's coming off a big win against Alexander Gustafsson. I'm sure he wants to get another big win. And I'm glad to see him back in the ring. He's an awesome guy. Just listening to him talk about the experience. Yeah. And, and, like, I love watching him fight. I'm glad he's back. What an awesome story for him to share with the world. And I'm just really well, grateful We're really glad him. that he's okay. His family's yeah. okay. Um, I really hope that this guy is okay. Um, I feel like we can rehabilitate this guy and get him in the UFC stat. We talk like maybe Anthony Smith should go reach out to like, this man, guy. Man, let's and then maybe train not Anthony him. Smith. That's real. But somebody <laughs> should maybe like get this guy on track. Does that maybe, not qualify as a meet cute? I mean, he seems like he's on the meth, probably. If you know what I mean? Like maybe there could be drug use involved. Start, like, there moving forward. You might can change be, your life. Like, demonic become, possession become, involved. Like, I don't know. Champ. But, like, he might have just some natural skills, and kind of maybe dark, somebody needs to what kind of redirect him. What kind of ridiculous darkness was that guy channeling in that? Thing? I don't know, but like, that is, crazy. like, terrifying, crazy. Uh, I'm glad Anthony Smith and his family are okay. I hope. I'll say a little prayer for this guy. I hope that he heals yeah. like whatever's no, going seriousness. on with him. Because that is also terrifying for him. Like yeah. yeah. But I don't know how to transition out of that. <laughs> well, you know what? We're really grateful that you come and hang out with us. We're real talk. We're your real talkies. We're here to talkies. All right. Perfect. Perfectly <laughs> done. Sure. Boom.